And hey guys, what is up? It is the guys the Gengar here today to talk to you about the news about Pokemon in general on August 1st. Now, if you don't know, August 1st is kind of a pretty big day right now. Um, starting off with Pokemon Go, and then we're going to be moving on to the trailer that came out earlier today that I woke up way too late for. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And um, about the like update on my trailer as you can see I'm kind of out of the loop this is my first time record actually testing out the recordings and everything so I hope this goes well so let's get right into Pokemon news um, first off we are going to be talking about Pokemon Go and it's 0.31 update um, of course not a lot of people are a huge fan of this uh, there has been multiple accounts that this update has deleted their characters or just reset the levels the people who have got their levels reset obviously have gotten them back, but the people who have lost their accounts are still trying to get them back or at least demanding a refund for it. This update added a menu inside of your uh, journal screen that you usually just have a journal button for and now has the like ability to customize your character. You can choose from a variety of different clothes and hats and stuff that will match your team. So go Team Spirit, I was really hoping that would come out soon because uh, you know, just my character was really ugly and I needed to fix it. And all I know I said go team spirit and that's not a team or something I messed up. I mean, woo, we have team spirit. <laughs> I know a lot of people would get that really messed up. Um, a menu has now been added to your Pokemon stat screen, allowing for you to just quickly transfer them. Instead of having to go to every new Pokemon, scroll all the way down and level them up, or transfer them. Um, not really much has changed other than that. Oh, what am I talking about? There has been the notorious footprint removal, and this is basically, the footprints have been completely removed from the game right now. I don't know if they're making a comeback, but on top of this, Niantic Labs have been going out and taking down all the help that people have made for us because of these footprints being such a mess in the past month. Um, basically, if you didn't know, there was a site called Pokevision, an app called Pokeware, um, Pokehound, and just a bunch of stuff that was made for people to find Pokemon without having to use a broken radar. And actually, last night, I even found a, Ryde, a Rhyhorn just sitting outside my house, but my radar didn't tell me. It only told me about the Pidgey and the Weedle that was sitting there. So. Even without the footprints, the map or nearby system is extremely broken and I'm kind of mad that they removed the Pokemon apps that were helping us out because literally you can't remove a main feature of your game and then or have it broken for so long and then when someone comes around and tries to help us out, you can't take that away either. Like, it's such a childish thing to do. And not only that, but you completely ruined the experience for some people. Like, I know that's kind of being overdramatic in somewhat, but I was using the app Pokeware for a very long time, um, basically since it came out, actually. But it was a really good app, it was extremely spot on with locations of Pokemon, and it was great. The only buttons on it were the zoom in or like lock onto your location, and then search for a Pokemon. So, if you wanted to try to see what was in Central Park or whatever, you would have to personally go zoom in on the map and do whatever. So it made trying to like look for Pokemon in like other locations kind of annoying. But for me, I only used it for areas that I live near, so it was really helpful. Um, I'll see if I can find any footage of someone using Pokemon what, uh, Pokeware or at least me using the app without any Pokemon on it. But um. Yeah, it's a really stupid idea. A lot of people are saying that they wouldn't really, they didn't really care for this, but now that they also removed the footprints from the game, it's kind of reasonable and a good option to go use these apps and outside sources. But enough of that. But the big news for Pokemon Go on August the first is, of course, we are expecting the great, great in quotation marks Poodle Corp to apparently be taken down all the Pokemon Go servers and I'm not sure if that's true or maybe they just expect everyone to be logging on and because I feel like last time when they claimed that they did it what actually happened is so many people logged on because I believe a new country got the game that day 
and it just crashed and they took credit for it. So, hopefully, because I'm on the game right now and I was using it to check these options and stuff while I talk about it and it's working fine as of, find, it's working fine as of 1.40 p.m. Eastern Time and yeah, I mean, that's really all for Pokemon Go. And we are going to be watching the Pokemon trailer today also. Um, I just woke up and even the people that usually aren't hyped about these trailers were blowing up my phone. Um, so I hope that we can get this all set up correctly. And go. Let me turn that down. Wait, well, I didn't read that first part. Let me go back. I was too focused on... Alright. Certain Pokemon are thriving in Alola. I would hope so. Executor? Um... Alola form? Uh, oh. 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 Um, extract... Hello? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this in, right, real quick, because... This is not what I was expecting when I thought, like, on the trailer preview when I downloaded it, it was literally just that, like the skinny head, and I thought it was, okay, maybe it's just a skinny executor, but no, it's a fucking giraffe dragon. I mean, it is a coconut tree by default, so this is kind of what I wanted it to look like from the start, but I wasn't expecting it to be a dragon type. Okay, this is, this is extremely weird. Um, I believe this will be, I don't know if this is a form it changes into, or maybe one that you can only find in Alola, or, I don't, I'm confused. Also, I believe this is the first grass dragon typing we've had. Vulpix? What are you going to do Vulpix and Ninetales? <gasps> They're beautiful. Alright, I mean, I would have changed the color scheme up a little bit, so they are not completely the same color. But I really love the color scheme on this, and was wait. In Sun and Moon, did Nine Tails become a fairy type? I don't think so. It's probably new typing. I mean, it looks adorable, but it reminds me too much of Kimba the White Lion. <laughs> Nine Tails, oh my God, Nine Tails is beautiful. It also reminds me of the. Uh, really rich girl that we see in the game all the time that has the umbrella and a really poofy dress with curly hair. That's my, that's my thing. Yo. Sandshrew? What are you gonna do to Sandshrew? Uh, what? Yo, why is Sandshrew wearing a hoodie? Yo, why did Sandslash make a baby with Baratic? What? Yeah, I s and steel types looks is is this a new th like we're not even a third of the way through the trailer yet by the way so is this something that we're just gonna find here like is it a natural mutation because they're not showing it changing forms yo that color scheme looks great oh my god it also looks like he's wearing an igloo on the head yeah cinch slash that Upgrade from his original design is m delicious. New po oh sh she's got real boy, new Pokemon. Hello, Orokoro's unique styles. <gasps> All right, for a second I thought I was gonna be on the far left. For the thought I was gonna be, I thought that was a flamingo dancing the flamingo. So we have. Uh, is this going to be our beginning, like, flying type? Is that electric flying? Holy shit, it is. Ghost flying. That's a, that's a cool type. I love that. I love that. Sensu style. That's beautiful. Uh, pose? Pose? Pose style? And ballet style. So, right off the bat, I think we're going to have to go to the website after this, but this is great. Like... I like the Pokemon design for the ballet, pom pom, and sensu style. I don't. I like the pose style because it just looks like she's at a luau or something. 
I just noticed that you can see your mouse, so this is even better. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I like the idea. This one so far is my favorite because of the color scheme and stu uh, like positioning. But this one is my favorite because it just reminds me just straight up Japan. And I love Japan. Hashtag weeb. Yeah, that's the flamingo, isn't it? It's a pom-pom. It, it's a cheerleader. I don't know how... Uh, sorry I keep pausing. I'm just trying to get a good look at these. Okay, so... Oh, we're already getting side by side. Never mind. Alright, so I think this one, this one, and this one look natural. This looks like that cheerleader that you know do, does too many drugs at school, but still on the cheerleading squad because no one cares because she's the prettiest and she belongs in the cheerleading squad. So I, this is... It, I feel off about it, but I still like the typing. That's the only thing that I think was redeeming about it to me. To me, this is my opinion. Oh, it... Oh, okay. Ability Dancer copies everyone's dance moves? Wait, so... I'm guessing it's when they use that ability that your Pokemon gets it up to, right? Um... Uh... Um... <laughs> um... Minor? Minor? Hello? Rock flying? I would think that is like a ghost rock, alright? That is... She, that is fucking terrifying. I want it. It looks like some kind of ancient bell or mask. Has a starfish living inside of it or something. <gasps> Yo! What is that? I want to get a better look at it, but I can't zoom in. Oh. Wait, there's four of them? And it looks so derpy and happy. It's something you see from Kirby. Gumshoe. Uh, like... Alright, I said early on that this thing reminded me of Tyrantrum. And... It does even more now, and I, I don't really like where they went with it. I hope it I hope the one I get keeps its ability strong jaw. Ew, ew, it, it looks even more like Donald Trump. Ew. Let's, yeah, just get me away from that. Fomantis? Of course it's a praying mantis Pokemon, right? Alright, so I think this is our second Praying Mantis Pokemon, and I think this takes off to the one that looks like a uh, Sakura flower, I believe. I believe that's a thing. It looks like it may use... maybe... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna say, it looks like it could be using some swords or some stuff hiding under those leaves. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Um. That looks like... Yeah, I'm getting... Uh, it looks like Sarah Palin when she used to have that one haircut. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm making too many political references in here. Um. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it does look... Kind of adorable, but also it looks like it has the freaking eyes of a goat who wants to summon Satan. Oh no, no, no! Uh, it was an old Looney Tunes cartoon. There was an old Looney Tunes cartoon that actually had a donkey that looked just like that. Hope I can find it. You can call the service of ride Pokemon? Yeah, but I'm guessing only in certain locations, right? No, it looks like anywhere. You can ride on Charizard? The Island Challenge, your rite of passage? Um, the National Challenge Champion, woo. Malo? Lana? Are these the Elite Four or something? 
vigorous splashing. Um, I need a parent. Oh, it would be a I'm not going to focus on reading the text. Um, he's like 12. He's like 8. What the hell? Sophocles? Dude, he's like fucking 7. And this looks like something we've seen in Far Cry. What the hell? Kaui, of course, fight. Alright, so I'm guessing that's the Elite Four or something of the game? Totem Pokemon are at the end of each trial? That's not a totem Pokemon. Oh, wait, what? 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 Excuse me? What? No. Wait. Wait, what? Is it like a Pokemon trainer? Is it... Is it taking its further evolutions and previous evolutions and putting them into slavery? Hello? What's going on? No, it's a double battle. Two on one? What's that bullshit? Kahanas? Hala? Wait, what about the gyms? What? I'm confused. Oh, wait, what? Yo, overload, overload. Brain cannot compute Z moves. Hello? Wh what? Yo, this is the one like. That's some like serious. You've activated my trap card bullshit. What the fuck? Bloom Doom? Bloom Doom? Was that a frog or deer? What? Oh, Puplio. Uh, I'm an idiot. Inferno Overdrive. This is some serious Common Rider final like move bullshit right now. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, let me try to make... I want to try to... I know it's probably the end of the trailer, but I still want to try to make this uh, bigger for you guys. I don't know how much bigger. Um... Uh, What the fuck? Yo, he just freaking napalmed that for Oh my god, Rowlet just got napalmed. Alright, now that's just... That's just abuse. Wow. Wow. Alright. So, that was... The trailer. So, now I'm going to go to... The website and check out the stats on these new Pokemon slash Pokemon forms, hopefully. So I will be right back. Alright, so my recording just crashed on me reading the Pokemon. So this is gonna be fun. So I, I don't know if I want to read all these again, but basically, um, I, I don't know. I guess I can give a quick summary of the Pokemon. Um, this is Young Goose, but instead of standing or always prowl, going on the prowl for its Pokemon, it likes to stand still and wait for everyone to come to them. Um, because it wastes so much energy doing this, it will actually, as soon as the sun goes down, it will completely faint. This Pokemon I would like to actually open the thing for. This Pokemon has gone extinct due to, or gone to the brink of extinction because in every other region it has been hunted down and the Alola region is the only place it can be found. Um, it likes to frolic around in mud, um, but if it does not have that opportunity it will get very, very saucy with this trainer. Um, <clears throat> these bird forms are exclusive to each island. Um, they change forms after drinking a certain nectar from a specific flower. This is, of course, fire, electric, psychic, and ghost. Um, the fire one, uh, when it dances and moves its wings, a puff of like air comes down and it can be ignited to release an extremely powerful fire type move. Um, it, this one, from all the movement and sporadic changes or whatever, of stances, it gets set of electricity stored in its feathers, and it can use that to use electric type attacks. This one likes to move at its own pace, which means that trainers may have a bad time or a kind of bad experience trying to uh, 
train this Pokemon because it likes, again, to move at its own pace, but its dance also is used to celebrate or just praise the Island of Spirits. And this one is, of course, a ghost type Pokemon. Um, its dance lures in the spirits so it can use ghost type moves. And people from Kanto enjoy it because it reminds them of their homeland. Um, let's see. Um, this is a meteor type Pokemon. Uh, I believe it leaves in the stratosphere kind of area. And from all the debris it collects, it makes its outer shell and drops below half health. The drop goes into one of those four forms that we saw. Um, let's see. Uh, Sand Shrew and Sand Slash look like this because they like to live in desert areas, but all the desert areas are by volcanoes, and due to the constant eruptions of the volcano, they had to migrate to the snowy plains. Um, the outer shell of the Sand Shrew makes it so it can no longer curl up into a ball, it is a lot heavier. Um, and to move around quickly, it slides on its stomach like a penguin. Sand Slash uses its claws to move through snow carefully, or not carefully, swiftly. Um, people find that when it kicks the snow up into the air, it actually looks beautiful and it's great. So they actually have to go and capture pictures of the specific moment, which everyone loves. But at the same time, this Alolian Sand Slash likes to live in really high, dangerous mountain biomes which means that a photographer or a trainer cannot go up the mountain without the permission from somebody. Um, Vulpix and Ninetales were brought to the Alola region to keep people warm, but due to it living in the ice biomes, it of course has changes into this snowy type. Uh, I really, <laughs> that's really all I remember. And Executor is the weirdest one because it turns into a grass dragon type and I believe that this one is actually the form we would have seen if it was in its natural habitat. Um, basically due to all the sunlight from the Alola region it grows this huge neck. These three heads are up here. Its fourth head is actually on its tail controlling it with its own mind. And that's basically it for all these. Um, I guess these three are the only ones I didn't explain. Um, these, uh, this is basically a plant that likes photosynthesis and will do anything to make sure that nobody gets in the way of it. And this Pokemon has been the first to learn a move, which basically is called Solar Blade, which forms Solar Beam into a blade type form that is so sharp that it actually cuts down blocks. Um, other than that, it is also being called the most beautiful grass type Pokemon because of its elegant movements and colors. Um, other than that, there's really nothing to talk about. Um, oh, let me check to see if this is recording. It did. Alright. <clears throat> I'd be so mad if I had to do that all again. Um, as you can see, Minor does have these different color things. On the website, I guess once we get the game, we'll be able to check out these QR codes. I don't know if the thing is big enough for us to actually do it. But Minor's core will change color depending on the particular core color. Its debris absorbed is pastel coloration and its cute look. So the Pokemon is often used as a, de a design motif for clothing and accessories. So I can see this. Um, I'm definitely probably going to be trying to collect all four of them, even though it probably will be extremely hard. But so far, I'm looking forward to getting the orange. Actually, I like all of them, honestly. They all look pretty great. Um, so let's move on to the challenges. Um, I'm guessing this is replacing gyms. I don't know because it's kind of confusing. I don't know if there's gyms on the path of doing this, but the island challenges um, that is one aspect that is unique to this culture has developed the Alola region is the island challenge. Uh, an adventurous raid that involves traveling through each of the four islands. This helps young people grow into Pokemon trainers as the main character, Pokemon Sun and Moon. You yourself are destined to attempt this island challenge. Um, uh, to complete the island challenges, young trial uh, young trial goers must overcome trials and store of each four islands. Trials are not limited to battling with Pokemon, but they also take a variety of forms, such as finding items, completing tasks of knowledge, or you will not be uh, you will not be able to accomplish them with ordinary means. Um, the totem Pokemon at the end of each mighty challenge or po at each trial, each a mighty Pokemon known as a totem Pokemon, will be waiting. A totem Pokemon is much larger than its species and its body is enveloped in a special aura. Sophisticated combat in SOS battles. 
Well, when a totem battle Pokemon, uh, when a totem ba Pokemon battle, they will summon allies to join them. With the support of these allies, the Poke uh, totem Pokemon become even more powerful. And it seems that the Pokemon, other than the totem Pokemon, sometimes call the allies to aid them. So I'm guessing that the tactic for going around this would probably be take out the allies first and then go for the totem Pokemon, or unless you know you can beat the totem Pokemon first and then take out all the allies. So I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like a horde battle, but more Pokemon can be added on later. The Grand Trial, each final trial on each island is called the Grand Trial, it is a Pokemon battle against the Ku uh, Kahana who leads the island. This trial goer succeeds in clearing the Grand Trial, he or she will be publicly recognized as having cleared all the island trials and can move on to the next island. So as you can see, there will be two trials per island, so that equals eight. And I don't know if that makes a gym or not, but now that I think about it, it's kind of also the gym style of the Orange Islands. I don't know, I'm going way too far into this. And then there is Riding Pokemon. The land, the sea, the sky, with power, Pokemon can go anywhere. Move forward with Poker Ride. One aspect of the culture in the Yolo region is something known as Poker Ride, which certain Pokemon can help people get into places they wouldn't be naturally able to get to using human strength alone. These Pokemon don't join your team, but you can call them anytime there is either help. This is practiced yet topical way of the wise of the Yolo, where human and Pokemon are so closely bonded together. So this means we're going to have something kind of like calling up Megalodius and Latias. We can fly around in Charizard, we can swim around in a Sharpedo, we can go on land with a Mudsettle, um, Stoutland, and yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to this game. I love this artwork. And I hope that, you know, we could use the Sharpedos anywhere in the water or use the Charizards to fly from island to island, you know, or call on a Mudsettle and all that when we connect, like, any time we want. Or maybe add a sign or something and then go anywhere with it. Because uh, as you saw in the trailer, Mudsettle was actually going past like a bunch of like grassy areas and stuff like that. So maybe we would to actually encounter battles. But of course, I'm guessing we're going to have to stop at a place to get this gear. Uh, maybe like a rental station or something. Or maybe like a ranch or something like that. But yeah. So that is it for the Pokemon Sun and Moon news. And now we will be talking about my series. Um, as you know, it's already the new week that I said I would be posting Pokemon Glazed. It just started, it's Monday. And this is the first time I've been recording in a while because I just now got everything set up and put together. So I will be recording Pokemon Glazed this week and of course be uploading it next week because if I rush things and try to record two weeks worth of recordings and get them all up today, all right, I'll, uh, yeah, buy today and then do tomorrow. It's just not going to work out to me. I'm going to be messed up. So I hope you can give me another week. I know I said this already. It's been two weeks since I've had an actual recording, and I'm really sorry. But I kind of didn't expect things to go south on my computer, and I really just need to get this stuff up and going. And I can't really force it to do what I want at my pace. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what you're looking forward to the most in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I hope you all have a great day. Um, if you're playing Pokemon Go, please be careful. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. So until next time, bye bye.